Let me see. <laughs> All right, coming up right now, he's been here a couple times. Really funny guy, Andy Tran. Andy, give me a shout out, Andy. Uh, shout out to Thomas. <laughs> Needy <Asian. laughs> So uh, this is just some new material, so I might be reading off the page a little, but you know, I'm gonna do it. So um, I found out that the girl that I made out with at last week's party is actually like bi or lesbian, and it's like. I don't know, it all sounds the same to me, and I kind of feel really good right now. Like, is that okay? Like, I feel like I have, like, a superpower. Like, I turn lesbian women straight. It's, I don't know, it feels good. I love lesbians, though. Like, more so in a friend way, though, you know? Like, you know how straight women will always have those gay friends, like, Oh my god, let's go shopping. Like, yeah, let's go. I want a lesbian friend, and I just want to go hardcore bar hopping, just drinking 151, doing cake stands, like, yeah, bro, yeah. And she'll probably pick up more girls than me, damn. <laughs> but I would have to watch out for my language. I couldn't say anything offensive, like, that's so gay, you know, like, that's not cool. Like, you don't do that around friends. But like, it's just weird, like, you know, the term, like, the phrase, that's so gay, like, it means that something's not cool. But then you know how like some guys would be like, dude, that party last night, <sighs> so straight, like, oh my god, that bong hit, so straight. So I'm going to make up like a new like, phrase right now, and when something is like kind of cool but not really cool, just be like, dude, last night those drinks, they were so bi, like, oh, they are so bi. Yeah, anyways. <clears throat> But, um, yeah, I just, I hate it when my roommate, he just, like, brags about getting laid. It's just like, ah, I gotta hear it again. He'll be telling me something like, dude, I totally banged this chick that I met at the bar. We almost had a threesome with their friend. And I'll be like, okay, cool, well, cool, you know, that's, that's good. And I'll be like, Andy, like, so how was your night? And I'll be like, thinking to myself, yeah, I was in my bed, and I was jacking off for about an hour. Left hand, right hand, yeah, my hand. And I'll be like, dude, so like, what was her name? And I'll be like, yeah, you know, met this like really beautiful girl. Her name's like Han, Han or, Hannah, left, right? Like, yeah, dude, do you think I can Facebook stalk her? Yeah, you'll totally find her on there, like, yeah. But, um, yeah, um, girls are really funny. Uh, I had to scroll over last weekend. Her name's Tabby. Tabby's very peculiar. Um, I texted her, hey, come over and play, smiley face. And she's like, yeah, totally. And she came over, 11.45, she drove 30 minutes off campus to get to my crib. So I was like, okay, I'm about to get laid, you know? <laughs> Obviously, right? I had a whole plan just like, just laid out, you know? Like we went to my rooftop, yeah, ladies, I got a rooftop. And she was out there, she's like, oh my God, I'm so scared of heights, which is great because my dick is not exactly Mount Everest, you know, that's, that's fine, you know? And, you know, it's weird, like, she was texting me, like, oh my god, Andy, like, I cannot wait to eat some Korean beef. And first of all, I'm not Korean, I'm Vietnamese, so it offended me a little, but I was cool, you know, she's hot. But when I got out of that, because I was kind of in my horny phase, I was like, does she want, like, a cock meat sandwich or something? I, I don't know, it's just, what's she talking about? I mean, she put a smiley face and an exclamation mark, so I thought she was trying to turn me on or something. I, uh, I don't know. I can't read texting. It's funny. <clears throat> Segway. <laughs> but, um, Weird Shin Shin told me all night, and for verbatim, Andy, I'm a preppy black girl. I'm like, okay, like, big deal. But she's actually a nerd on the low. Like, don't tell her any of that. Like, she plays Final Fantasy and, like, Kingdom Hearts and shit. So I figured that ass was mine, you know? Because, like, video games. <laughs> and she also texted me earlier saying, like, hey, make sure when you cook for me, like, you shock me. And so, in hindsight, she probably meant that she wanted a surprise, but, you know, since I was still in that horny phase, I was thinking she wanted something else. So I clipped my fingernails, got my index, got my middle, got my pinky, I was like, ah! 
<laughs> but you know, I didn't show it to her or anything because I'm a gentleman, you know. So it was like waiting for later for the surprise that she wanted to see. Anyways, um, I don't know. It's just she's just a funny, funny girl. the pages. So I did everything for the school. I put on Victoria's Secret for men's like perfume on me. Come on, you know. Showered, used conditioner, like that L'Oreal Paris and shit. I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know. I even trimmed the hedges. Hedges mean my pubes, and because I wanted to get ahead a little. <laughs> I mean, I only did that for the girl because when she also texted me, I cannot wait to go down and see you. And I thought, you know, because I'm still thinking you know, with my dick, not this head. Is she talking to my dick? Because my dick's name is you. Short for Yousef, so I was thinking, like, yeah. <laughs> Yousef, okay. okay. <laughs> so when she came over, I got horny fast because, you know, she smelled real nice. Like Calvin and Klein perfume, like, oh my god, I'm making a knee shake. <laughs> and I, I asked her to salsa with me, and I told her I love salsa, except I fucking hate salsa, you know? Just, I figure I'm always honest with girls, so might as well try, like, something else. Something else. <laughs> 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 and you know, when we're salsaing and shit, I'm not on beam right now, well, fuck it. So you know, I stepped on her shoes and she cried out in pain, like, ah! and I'm like, okay. But like, I don't care. Like, you don't wear your fucking purple Uggs in an Asian household. Like, come on, <laughs> so, like, and have some fashion sense. Like, come on. You really model for that agency? <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I started, like, spinning her while we were salsaing, like, six or seven times, trying to spin her like a dreidel, you know, get her dizzy and shit, because I didn't have any money for the alcohol, so. I spent it all on the bean, the Korean barbecue. <laughs> and, dude, I even played this girl a song I wrote, you know? Like, I got my guitar out, which is really my roommate's, but it was in my room for some reason, and just used that as a prop, and I started playing the G chord, trying to vary it up to the C chord a little, back to G, and it was like, can you guide me in the right direction? <laughs> I got some wins on my map and now I'm blind. I fell off the path and I can't get back. Lost my compass. Where do I go from here? <laughs> she got so wet after that. <sighs> but yeah, man, like, after I played my song, she clapped and hugged me. So I immediately got a heart on. She was touching me. I was like, no. <laughs> and, uh, Another segue. So anyway, she's pushing me back and smiling. She's like, I'm hungry. Where's the food? Like, okay. I was about to tell her, in my pants, but you know, I'm polite, so I'm a gentleman. I don't do that. And I was starving too, but she was being a bitch. Excuse me, ladies, but she was being kind of a bitch. Or more appropriately, a female dog. And you know, some Asians eat dogs. I was thinking, maybe I could go for a dog right now. I could eat that bitch out, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't mean dogs, but uh... but yeah. So I figured I'd you know keep setting the mood. So I went downstairs. You know, beforehand I told her that the rice wasn't seen yet, but it was. And um, so we went downstairs, and as I was cooking, she was started talking about her brother. She's like, "Oh my god! Like I love my brother. Like after school and high school, we would just play video games, and I'm just so good with joysticks. That's why I'm just awesome at video games." And you know, because I'm still in that horny phase, I'm thinking like, does if she likes joysticks, does that mean she likes dildos up the butt or something? Like, I, I have no idea. You know, just it's she just lost me. I didn't speak her language. You know. After we ate, we uh, we went over to the couch. She curled up beside me, rested her head on my shoulder, took off her boots. I was like, oh, okay, she's gonna go down on me. Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe she's getting the mood. So then she took out her iPhone. I'm like, so she's like kinky or something? I, I have no idea. And it's just, she showed me pictures of Pokemon. I'm like, okay, so then maybe she does tend to favor the Asian culture. That's, that's great. That's good to know. And then she started talking about Super Smash Bros. Because she saw my Wii in the video game. She's like, oh my god, I fucking love Smash Bros. And you know, because I'm still thinking like a guy, you know, not a gentleman. I was thinking, does that mean she likes to smash fraternity brothers? I'm like... I love crickets, I'm half Indian. 
And, um... <laughs> yeah, dude, she destroyed me in Super Smash Bros. Like, what the fuck? She played with Kirby, and the whole time she was like, Kirby is such a cute girl, I'm like... Kirby is not a fucking girl. And I said that to her, to her face, because I couldn't take that shit. I was like, really? Really? You're the one who plays Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy, and you think Kirby's a girl because he wears pink? Okay, so he has a little, you know, problems or whatever, you know. And anyways, I was pissed off because she beat me in Super Smash, you know, but like, I was kind of a sore loser. But I was only doing that to even up the score because her vagina was going to be sore later, you know? <laughs> to make a long story short, like, we didn't sleep together. She left my crib saying, uh, like, what'd you think? Like, I was gonna give you a happy ending and me love yeah. you a long time? What? No, Tabitha! I did not think that shit, kinda, but... I just thought, you don't have to love me a long time, but you would've loved me for the five minutes I gave you on my bed. Like, come on now, you know? And it's just... It didn't work like that. And, um... <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, you know, having a good time. Talking to you guys, I'm freestyling this shit right now, top of the dome. And, um, you know, pie is good. Probably have a cigarette later. I got a joke about cigarettes. So, why do smokers, cigarette smokers, check out the horoscope? See if they have cancer. Fuck this kid. He's gonna beat his ass. <laughs> okay, he doesn't know this joke. <laughs> so, what did a police officer say to the inebriated fruit? Inebriated meaning drunk. <laughs> what? Sir, are you impaired? <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah. So, and this is true shit right here. I'm thinking about burning all the bridges with the girls that I've been, like, attached to, you know? So, I just sent a mass text out of them, I'm like, come over and hang out, smiley face, with a little wink at the end. So it's like a, like a fucked up smiley face with, like, four eyes, you know? <laughs> and this one girl, okay, like, texts me back, is like, wow, really? I'm like, yeah, I just want to cuddle. She's like, wow, really? I'm like, yeah, did you have to repeat that again? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, wow, like, I just want some warmth, like, it's still fucking winter time, you know, except I didn't curse at her, because I still wanted to see if I was in the game, but it didn't happen. Damn, you guys are so beautiful tonight, like, oh my god, everybody's so handsome, so beautiful. We love you, dude. I love you too, Thomas, I'm like, I got, I got some, I got some jokes uh, surrounding Christian, like, ministry and shit. I go out but I go to a Bible study, and that's like a huge contradiction. I don't know if I should do that. Like, I'll get wasted at the bar, and then Sunday I'll be like, yeah, I'll be in church, and I'll be hungover. And that's not good, guys. Like, it's not good to have morning wood at a 9 a.m. like service. It's just weird. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is weird, right? It's just take a little time to set in. Yeah. Anyways. I don't know, it's like, it's really hard, you know? I mean, here's this guy who loves me, you know? Jesus Christ, he wants to have a relationship with me. While I'm out pursuing all these other girls who I don't even know, they don't give a shit about me, but there's this guy out here who just wants to be with me, right? And they say, and they say, don't be a homo in church, and it's like, it's, I can't help it, I love that guy, Jesus Christ, you know? It's like, right? Come on now. One time in Bible study, you were talking about, like, yeah, you just gotta have Christ come inside you and, like, fill you up with the Holy Spirit. And I was, like, checking my back, like, is my guardian angel behind me? I hope not. And one of my roommates was like, yes, I feel the Holy Spirit inside of me. And I'm like, yo, dude, get a room. <laughs> True shit, by the way, true shit. And I'm, I'm going to, re uh, to a retreat next week with Thomas, you know, and I really want to hide my cigarette addiction from, like, everybody else, you know? I don't want to turn them off to that, because, you know, you smoke a cigarette, they'll be like, oh my god, this guy's like a badass. Like, I'm not a badass. I'm a good guy, you know? It's, it's just like a Vietnamese culture thing. I'll blame my dad on that fucker. But, uh, yeah, so just... How am I gonna hide it? I'm thinking I'm gonna put like Axe body spray on myself, like when I used to smoke pot, or 
I don't know, put like a little rug under like the door <laughs> so they won't smell anything. It's just, but you shouldn't have to hide, you know? They should accept you for all your damaged goods, you know? Right? Yeah. Can I get a hallelujah? Oh! Yeah. Woo! Hell yeah. He was getting wasted tonight. Woo! Woo! Alright, alright, cool. I like getting wasted. Wasted is a funny word. I just want to see how long I can last up here without <laughs> breaking down and shit. I'm, I'm having fun. Center the attention. I met a girl yesterday. She was supposed to come. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica, you're going to see this later. And um, I was like, hey, Jessica, do you want to dance? And she's like, no. And I'm like, why not? Because I want to make out. I'm like, okay, sure. And she just made out with me. It was just really odd, but really good. You know, it's just like, I don't know. I felt bad because she was drunk, but I was drunk too, so that canceled out. Does that make it right, ladies? Yeah. Sure, yeah, okay, okay. You know, she wasn't acting bi or anything, so it was cool. I was going, I was going back to the earlier joke that I used to. Yeah, dude. It's professional comic shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, anyways, like, it's good to see all you guys, you know, friends, classmates. I don't think I have any enemies here. Maybe I could bump some cigarettes later, buy me a drink or something, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Andy Drew, everybody! Woo! You're fine. Alright, we're about... Thank you. Alright. Okay, uh, just, just to give you guys a little uh, quick thing, we have five minutes till the end of happy hour, so... Put your last minute drink orders in. Now. Great. Um, where's the food menu? Right in front of you. That's good. I don't know. Why, what, do you, what do you think about eating? What do you think about eating? The wings. They come in a bowl. They do come in a bowl. How long is this? Basically, eight dollars for wings. Everyone hear that? Actually, yeah, we're gonna take just uh, just basically get your drink orders in now. I can talk over you guys too. At the same time. Actually, I've got a story. Everybody, listen up. Listen up real quick. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. What the fuck? Do I need to flip the lights off like in elementary school? Is that what we have to do? Gee, thank you. God damn. <laughs> Jesus. Everyone's conversation is that important. <laughs> No, um, actually, I actually have one story just to just that's crossing my mind because he was bringing up religion and everything. And um, how many how many of you guys are not religious at all? I'll trust you, Jacob. Come on, sixteen percent of Americans are atheists. It's a fun fact. You not know a fact about India and atheists. Look at that. Just come here more often. Go learn. Um, no, a, a weird thing that actually uh, that I want to tell you guys real quick before I bring that comic up. Uh, let me get this mic out. Oh God, it's so. There we go. God damn it, Andy, you put it in there too tight. Um, he's never heard of it in his life. He's not listening. The most obvious. Um, no, uh, do you guys remember? I, I think it might be closed down right now. But in Carytown, there's that Scientology temple, right? Do you guys Is it closed? Yeah. It's all closed down. It's all closed down. But how many of you guys remember when it opened up? Yeah. Well, it, was, it was a little bit longer than that, but, but there were protests. There were actual protests. There were picket lines in front of the Scientology temple. I was driving by one day, and there was one sign that really that still stands out. It said, um, remember the 17. That's it. And, uh, and I'm pulled off on the side road because I want to talk to some of these crazy fuckers. So I went <laughs> off, and I, I went to that woman directly. And uh, I said, you know what, could you explain your sign to me? Because, damn, is it vague. And um, she went, oh, well, I have this sign that says, remember the 17, because ever since Scientology has started, 
17 people have died because of Scientology. <laughs> and I went, that's it? <laughs> 17 is fucking nothing. I could have killed 17 people. <laughs> I mean, I know that's like, you know, I'm 21, so that's, you know, ever since I was like three, one murder a year. But still, it's possible. I could still do it. I mean, I think it's weird that, that people talk about 17 when, you know, you can combine, you know, um, let's see, the Crusades, um, Spanish Inquisition, uh, the Holocaust, holy shit, um, and among other things, uh, in most of the wars in, in Africa, a whole lot of shit happens due to the three major religions. Scientology needs to really step their shit up. They really want to be taken seriously. Maybe the temple would still be open if they worked on all those killings still. <laughs> Alright, that's it. <laughs> this one was a <laughs> It was a Scientology joke. If you're gonna categorize it. Oh shit. Okay. Alright, uh, coming up to the stage right now, um, we're getting closer to nine, so if you wanted a cheap drink, you're fucked! So, um, coming up to the stage right now, he's been here a couple times, really love this guy. Uh, most of the people who come back here are repeats, that should tell you something, because they have fun here. Um, coming up to the stage right now, lovely plaid, um, Moaz Elamam. Hey, how's it going? Good. Yeah, last time I was here, I kind of like shit the bed pretty bad. Like, it kind of sucked, so. <laughs> Let's see how it goes this time. I don't know. Uh, performing is like pretty weird. Like, I don't, I'm too sure most of you guys have like done some sort of public speaking at some point or another. And it's weird, you just spit dumb words into a microphone and it just kind of ping pongs around the room. And you're just, who is this idiot talking? And the idiot is you. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's terrible. I don't know. And it's weird, like, the audience isn't helping. I know it's a bad thing to say, but the audience is kind of the worst part, I'm gonna say. Sorry, guys, no offense. <laughs> We've all been part of an audience before. Uh, yeah, just everyone's fucking eyeballs just staring at you. Like, just falling out of a socket like a cartoon poor person's pocket. Like, just hanging out. And, uh, it's... It, it's gross. A lot of people say like the eyes are the window to the soul. I believe that, and souls are gross. So you can't see it. Hide that shit. That's the reason you can't see it. Yeah. I don't know. I was talking about like the whole the whole audience thing. It's just everyone's like face is looking at you, like I said. And I'm not very aware of my own face. Like I, it's it's weird. Like I'll just be walking down the street frowning at everyone. I don't know what I'm doing. Like. And just and I'm like, oh, what's wrong? Like three times a week, people have asked me, are you okay? I'm like, uh, no, I'm fine. It's just my fucking face is weird. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just I have a, a little pet theory, kind of stupid, but stick bear with me. Uh, imagine like your brain. It's like uh, the cockpit of a airplane, and your body is the airplane. And there's a little pilot in there, and he's controlling everything. He's got a bunch of panels and switches and buttons and flips, and he's things are flashing, and he's you know he's in charge. He's controlling, and you're just walking down the street going, "Hey, everyone!" And he's in charge of all that. And uh, yeah, my guy, my pilot. Early on in the game, I'm gonna say he he's in there, and maybe it's like you know how they used to let little kids into the cockpit, give them a tour, give them a badge and stuff. He's even brought a little kid in. And he's in there, and then my pilot fucking died. He had a heart attack, fell over, blood pooling on the switchboard, distress signal going out, no one's picking it up like the Titanic. And this little kid is now in charge, and he's pulling on the switches, and he hasn't gone to personal flight school. He doesn't know what he's doing. And I'm just walking down the street, going, oh, hey, oh, you're not waving at me, I'm just gonna keep looking at my feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that kind of thing. Uh, I don't know. I weird. Another weird thing about me. Think about dying a lot. I guess I don't know. Kind of morbid. Uh, I mean, it's stupid because I'm like 18. I guess I shouldn't be dying anytime soon. Knock on wood. I guess. Uh, just why I'm gonna walk out and get hit by a lightning bolt or something. After saying it, just you're on the news. Just local student found dead in fan district. <laughs> Burn scars from the lightning supposedly spelled out the word irony. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I think about I think about dying a lot, and a lot of people say it's like going to sleep or something. And 
I don't know, I don't sleep very well. I guess that's why it appeals to me so much. I it's I I go to sleep at night thinking well, if I didn't wake up, eh, I wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have to answer any more emails. <laughs> Mom. Uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't it'd be cool. No one knows for sure like what happens though after you die. And that's something I wonder about. Something like a lot of people say they know, but no one is really sure. Um, like I uh a couple like a year, a couple a year or two ago, I don't know. Like a, there's a book that came out that was written. It's called Heaven Is for Real. I don't know if any of you guys hear about this. It, like this little kid supposedly says he dies on the operating table, and he went to heaven and he like sat in Jesus' lap and shit and like hung out. And uh, and I was like, okay, uh, that I can tell you bullshit. I can tell you right from the fact, right from the start. This kid's like five. No five year old ever man's gonna go to heaven. He's five year old suck. <laughs> so, I mean, a lot of people, little angel now, they suck, they stink. And, uh, yeah, there's that. Some people say that, like, when you die, it's like there's like a release of chemicals, and it's like a kind of a, you get kind of like a high, and there's like a hallucination kind of shit going on based on like your last thoughts. And I think that was interesting, but it would suck. Because I'm pretty sure my last thoughts are either going to be one, uh, like, oh, this hurts. <laughs> or two, am I dying? Which <laughs> would blow to be have that be what's going on in your head forever. Am I dying? Am I dying? Am I dying? But yeah, uh, yeah, they, I don't know when, I wouldn't want to be high forever either. I would just be. I don't know, like, it's like Lord of the Rings is on? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of shit that goes through my head. I forgot what I was saying, never mind. Not like uncomfortable. You guys look impressions? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Cool, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> that was my impression of someone who can't do any impressions. <laughs> Still doing it. Uh, yeah. Uh, recently, I was uh, talking to a friend of mine, and like about cars, and he was like just kind of more talking at me about cars, I would say. And uh, and he's like really into them and shit. He's like a gearhead or whatever you would call it, uh, or whatever you would call a person who can put together an engine blindfold but can't look you in the eye when you're talking to them. But uh, yeah, he's really he was like, yeah, anyone who drives an automatic car is an idiot, because manual transition you get like way more control. And uh, uh, automatic transmission, you have to, things go through a computer, and it takes a, like a whole five-step process, it makes waffles, and it goes off over here, and does this and that, and it's just, you're putting, you're risking your life, you're putting it into the hands of the computer, and I don't trust the computer. Do you trust the computer? I said, yes. I 100% trust the computer. I don't know. Have you ever seen a computer, like if you told it to do something with it, has it ever gone, oh yeah, oh, I'll get to that in a second. I just had a really hard day. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a long week, I'm sorry. I'll get, I'll get to it. The computer does that shit immediately. And I don't have the best track record either. I don't trust myself in my own life. Like, I lost my book bag a couple months ago, and sometimes I still get sad about it. Like, not about anything inside of the book bag, but just the fucking physical object. Like, oh man, I really miss that book that I had for years. <laughs> Oof, that's nothing. Uh, I also the guy. I've broken appointments to masturbate. Not nothing serious. <laughs> nothing serious. Not just it, I'm gonna say it's impacted some friendships. <laughs> I, I, I may be talking. Oh, you might miss some. I miss some movie previews. I'm gonna say. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, all right. thanks for letting me come up here and say gross things, guys. All right. What's up? Moa everybody! Okay. Uh, coming up right now, actually, a uh, good friend of mine, he's actually uh, won the Clash of Comics at Funny Bone. Four times. So it's unprecedented. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and plus two, if anybody ever performs something at and Clash of the Comics, go! Because it's amazing. It's at the Funny Bone and Short Pump. You gotta check it out. Coming up on stage right now, Bounce Adams!
My doctor has to figure it out what the hell is going with me. I told my doctor for someone who graduated from medical school, you ask a lot of stupid ass questions. <laughs> like, are you ready for your rectal exam? Hell yeah! <laughs> and I feel sorry for your finger. <laughs> it takes courage to rescue the anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> then my doctor asked me, when was the last time you engaged in sexual activity? If the short bus is rocking, I'm having a fucking seizure. <laughs> I, had to get a, I had to get psychologically evaluated a few years back. My therapist asked me, what do the voices in your head tell you to do? Laundry? <laughs> Sometimes those voices give really good advice. <laughs> like take your medication. <laughs> Side effects may include headache, nausea, and exposing myself to hookers on Jeff Davis Highway. <laughs> One look at my naked ass will encourage you to get your shit together. <laughs> well, that's what I used to work with kids. <laughs> now, when one of the kids would ask me questions, I had to play it safe and lie my ass off. <laughs> but where do babies come from? Target. <laughs> what are you going to be for Halloween? Normal. <laughs> What's masturbation? It's when you're late for work. <laughs> and I'm late for work at least twice a day. <laughs> at Target. Uh, iTunes gift cards get kind of sticky. <laughs> uh, oh, what? I went too far. <laughs> Don't act like it's the first masturbation joke you've heard tonight. <laughs> Another thing I learned when I worked with kids, in certain situations, women have the advantage. Like, for example, ladies, when you're out in public, you can walk up to someone else's kid and say, he's so cute, I could just take him home. <laughs> and nobody thinks anything of it. <laughs> But if I say it, there's a goddamn Amber Alert. I don't have any fucking candy. Don't get the short bus confused with the white band. That's all I'm saying. Now, when I was a teenager, I listened to a lot of rap music, and I tried to convince my parents that rap music was philosophical. And I told them that NWA stands for Nietzsche with Attitude. <laughs> but they told me, no, it stands for Nutcase with Autism. <laughs> I think that there should be a game show that features aspiring porn stars. I even came up with a few possible titles. <laughs> Minute to hit it. <laughs> Are you hornier than a fifth grader? <laughs> and whose STD is it anyway? <laughs> <laughs> on that note, I'm back on the dating scene. <laughs> I filled out my profile on eHarmony. My perfect match came back as Yoda. <laughs> I developed her criteria for what I look for in a woman. Blonde hair, blue eyes, vagina optional. <laughs> then I realized I should not be that goddamn picky. <laughs> so if you are over 21, have a pulse and two minutes to spare, <laughs> you are eligible for good deck on the short bus. <laughs> we can wear matching helmets. <laughs> I recommend doggy style so you won't have to look at me. 
sit. All you have to look at is the back of my head. <laughs> It took y'all long enough to get that goddamn gun. Damn, I thought that was slow. For me, sex is like vacation for two reasons. I don't get it very often, and afterwards, all I can say is, damn, I spent too much money. <laughs> A friend of mine gave me some advice about what I should do on a fir first date. Bounce, you are supposed to put the sleeping pills into her drink. <laughs> I guess that explains the reason why I haven't had my dick sucked since Boy Scouts. <laughs> and on that groan, I am out of here. <laughs> Bounce Adams, everybody!